Uh, our today topic is the differences of the ODS and data warehouse. As we know, uh, we have already discussed about the ODS in the previous videos. So operational data store. Uh, in compare of data warehouse, uh, the quality of data is um, actually good of ODS rather than your data warehouse. Uh, if we talk about uh, ODS, it has different category. I mean, according to the work, it, it depends on, uh, it prepared itself as a reporting tool. Uh, par ye apne ko daily basis pe update karta hai. <coughs> track karta hai. But uh, if we talk about the data warehouse, it's imperfect. Uh, uh, it's just sufficient uh, to perform the analytical operation only. The availability of data is not a primary concern. Uh, data kitna hai, uh, apne kaise collect kiya hai, ye uski primary concern nahi hoti hai. What, what you analyze from the data is a primary concern, uh, concern of the data warehouse technique. Uh, if we talk about the second difference of ODS and data warehouse, it works on real-time process or real-time scenario. Uh, but uh, data warehouse always work on the historical data. It cannot uh, applicable for the real-time data always. If we uh, define the ODS, it always define the updated. Um, as we know, it works on the real-time data. So uh, the data should be always in an updated form. But in data warehouse, uh, we just collect the data. We cannot apply any type of queries in the data of the data warehouse or the data who stored in the data warehouse uh, are, are not able to perform any type of queries. So. Uh, it just, uh, uh, you know, collect different bunches of data, but uh, uh, they're not concerned about the queries of the data. OD is always concerned about the detailed data only. Uh, detailed data uh, related to the information and uh, the other subjective environment. Uh, but if we talk about the data warehouse, it always uh, highlights the summarized view of the data. Okay. Uh, in ODS, we always up use the 3NF, I mean, uh, the third normalization form of the database to collect the data or to, you know, remove the redundancy from the data. But uh, in data warehouse, it apply different type of technique, different type of uh, format to store the data to optimize the performance. Always remember, uh, if we talk about the ODS, ODS perform the data for the data manipulation uh, to data uh, definition format. Uh, I mean, uh, we can perform the data manipulation as well as the data definition, both form in the ODS, but in um, data warehouse, we can't we perform the data manipulation form uh, directly. We can uh, define the data. We can update the old data from with the new one, but we cannot insert the new data uh, manually. We can uh, just, you know, uh, collect the data from different databases, but we can't make any changes on those data. Okay. Uh, if we talk about the transaction, OLTP always depends on the transaction level. I mean, uh, uh, transactions always resemble the OLTP systems transaction. But in data warehouse queries are quite complex because of uh, different number of databases. Uh, see, uh, we can we need to collect the data from different number of databases, and sometimes uh, the data or the informations are same, but the field or the uh, attributes are different. In that way, you have to be remove the content. I mean, you have to be remove the uh, duplicate attributes and merge them in a proper format. So uh, queries are quite complex in the data warehouse in compare of the ODS. ODS is generally uh, useful for the you know operational level, and uh, whereas if we talk about the data warehouse, it's generally helpful for the decision making and the um, uh, report for the reporting tools also. So these are some differences between the ODS and the data warehouse. The next one is the differences and the similarities between the OLTP and uh, data warehouse. As we know, as we have discussed earlier, OLTP defines the online processing system. Uh, it uh, identifies the traditional database system approaches, uh, pe we can uh, you know, maximize the transaction processing capacity. We can maximize the transaction processing capacity, define it. 
हम ऑर्गेनाइजेशन और एटीपी को अपने डेली लॉग डिटेल्स देखने के लिए भी यूज करता है जबकि डेटा वेयर हाउस जस्ट स्टोर द डेटा इट जस्ट होल्ड द डेटा हिस्टोरिकल डेटा दैट कुड बी समराइज्ड इन डिफरेंट लेवल्स इट डिपेंड्स आई मीन यू कैन समराइज योर डेटा ऑन द सब्जेक्टिव बेसिस और योर डेटा शुड बी इन अ सब्जेक्ट ऑरियंटेड फॉर्मेट ऑल्सो एंड वेन यू अप्लाई some specific information is defined as the data mart which is a small unit of the data warehouse so if we talk about the uh, similarities oltp define the regular or day to day day some date a transaction processing of the data whereas a uh, data warehouse always define the historical data but the uh, but the similarities are they just uh, both are able to collect the information i mean uh, generated by the different branches of the companies but the uh, it they are uh, if we talk about the differences uh, these are some differences of uh, oltp and data warehouse okay oltp as we know uh, hold the current data uh, whereas data warehouse always uh, talk about the historical data oltp always define the detailed information Uh, but in data warehouse detailed information are not necessary it is flexible actually it depends what kind of information we need to collect in uh, in our hist uh, as our historical data so it uh, we can also collect the summarize information and we can also collect the entire information so it depends on the requirement uh, oltp the nature is dynamic whereas the data warehouse nature is a static uh, because oltp work on the day to day basis and data warehouse always work on the uh, past information uh in oltp process are always recursive in nature okay whereas uh, the processing is unstructured and ad hoc in the data warehouse uh, because uh, whatever you collect whatever uh, the data you have collected in the data warehouse is completely depends on the requirement of the company and if you want to analyze your data it, uh, you cannot follow the proper structured format okay uh, you have to be collect the data from different form or different uh, area or different uh, databases or uh, it cannot support the structured format always so it uh, completely an unstructured uh, rather than structured okay um, transaction output is uh, oltp is always high because uh, uh, as we know oltp always uh, talk about the transaction processing uh, but in data warehouse the transaction is medium or uh, low uh in oltp it is completely predictable i mean whatever the predicts uh, whatever the uh, you know use uh, whatever the concept you use to identify the data is completely predictable but uh, in data warehouse the pattern is completely unpredictable okay. uh oltp is completely a transaction driven system whereas data warehouse is completely analysis driven system it is oltp is application oriented whereas uh, data warehouse always focus uh, on the subject instead of the you know um, application the day to day decision are uh, supported by the oltp whereas data warehouse always uh, focus on the long term strategic decision um uh, different number of operational users are uh, you know work with the or uh, collect the data or information from the oltp and uh, whereas data warehouse generally apply applicable for the managerial users so these are the common differences of the data warehouse and oltp uh, if we talk about the properties of both oltp and data warehouse we have some other differences based on their properties like uh, if we talk about the property nature of the database oltp apply the 3n that is third normal form whereas data warehouse apply the multi dimensional concept of database uh, to save the data or to collect the data if we talk about indexes uh, oltp consists few indexes i mean uh, it apply a few indexes uh, of database for the queries but in data warehouse we have to be use different number of indexes uh, to retrieve the queries next property is join uh, uh, oltp apply apply the join command of the database uh, uh, for the many purpose or uh, for different variety of different number of areas 
uh, to check the data of, with different uh, format and uh, with different conditions or queries. But uh, the data warehouse use the joint feature of database uh, very rarely. If we talk about the duplicated data, uh, OLTP apply the normalized format, whereas data warehouse apply the denormalized format. It means redundancy of data in OLTP is completely uh, low in compared of your data warehouse. If, uh, the next property is drive data and aggregates. Uh, aggregation function uh, actually used, very rarely used by the OLTP, but in data warehouse, it, it is completely common. Uh, Queries are mostly predefined. I mean, uh, you uh, when you collect the data, when you apply the OLTP uh, system, apply the OLTP system in your databases, um, the queries are completely predefined. But in data warehouse, it completely ad hoc. Oh, sorry, mostly ad hoc actually, not completely. It depends on the requirement. Next one is nature of que query. Uh, in OLTP, the uh, queries are completely simple because it always perform in day-to-day -day basis. But in data warehouse, it is a little bit complex. Uh, data warehouse, OLTP always uh, uh, perform uh, on regular basis, so the data is completely updated. But uh, in data warehouse, data are repressed, not update. Uh, in OLTP, historical data are not allowed or available, but in data warehouse, uh, historical data are always available. So these are some differences between uh, based on the properties of OLTP and data warehouse. In uh, our next video, we will discuss about the schemas of data warehouse. Thank you.